Oh boy. Can we wreck this fool before he does bad things? Yes. There we go. All right now, punch that snot out of him and then back out. Hey guys and gals, Polly Jr. here. Welcome to Children of Morto, which is out on Steam on September 3rd, 2019. That happens to be the day I am recording this. So it should be launched and available right now as you're watching this video. And I will put a link down below in the description to the Steam store page. So you can check it out for yourself if you like what you see here and you're a fan of story-driven action RPG games. Because that's what it is and it has super high quality production value, stunning art, um, lovely music, very good narration, and uh, compelling story too, in fact. And, and, and the action, obviously, is really, really good. So I've been playing for quite some time now, maybe two or three hours. I got the, the code from the developer a few days ago, and uh, I'm, I'm kind of hooked on it. But I wanted to show you guys some of the gameplay, and I want to start from the beginning because there's a really nice backstory there, and it's presented in a fashion that kind of demonstrates the high quality production values of this game and I think it's worth watching and then we'll, uh, then we'll go to my game and I'll show you some of the different character classes and what they're capable of. But yeah, let's, let's get started. Enough of me chatting at you. Let's show, not tell. By the way, it's all hand-painted pixel art. Margaret awoke, startled, a cold sweat clinging to her. She gathered her thoughts. Aged wood creaked echoing through the quiet rooms. Near the house stood a shrine to Rhea Dana, goddess and daughter of the land, of Rhea and a being of comfort. Margaret sought Answers. But the goddess did not speak. There was only the faint whisper of something dark, something hungry. The old seer's bones felt the weight of their age as she climbed. The only thought on her mind, has it begun again? John's mission would be a simple one. He was to investigate Rhea's greatest shrine. His mother presented him with a fresh divinity shard. From his brother came a newly sharpened sword. His wife gave him a kiss and his daughter's Hugs were full of reason to return home safe. Stunning, right? Told you. Production value is super high quality. The uh, the hand painted pixel art is just beautiful. The uh, the music is lovely, and the action is really good too. And I think the narration is professionally done as well so that's kind of the backstory you've you've seen the bergson family uh margaret is the matriarch and the bergsons have been defending the realms for many many generations and now uh this um this corruption has returned and now they've got to investigate find out what's going on and obviously kick its butt 
So yeah, I mean, just look at that artwork. Listen to the sound, sound effects, the uh, the waterfall running there. Really, really lovely indeed. So I think what we'll do is this is kind of a tutorial right here. We got to get to the top of the hill and figure out what's going on. I don't know if it's really that important to be honest. Um, I think what you guys probably want to see is just some of the the action, right? Although I guess we can get to the top because let, let's just finish this particular intro. I might cut some. Rhea. A land long forgotten, a place of unimaginable beauty. It it is indeed, really is indeed. Yeah, I'll probably cut some of this because it's a lot of uh, just tutorial, um, how to fight with the sword and shield it and all that. It first appeared as sludge given life, slithering creatures, small and vile. For example, here's our primary attack. So, yeah, John is essentially a sword and board class, right? He's got a shield, he's got a sword. Um, he's a tank, and he can dish out some punishment, and he can take some punishment. He's got a couple of special abilities that we'll see later, as do all of the family members. Each family member has their own sort of unique set of skills, and they're, you know, your basic class is archer. Uh, his daughter's an archer. He's got a son who uses two blades. The young one, and he's got a, another son who happens to be a karate master, and he's a whole lot of fun. And uh, he's got another daughter that I haven't unlocked yet. So you have to unlock these characters one by one. And he's got uh, a young daughter who's she's some kind of magic user. I haven't unlocked her yet, but we might as well just finish this part of the story. And then we'll, we'll take a look at the characters that I have unlocked so far. But this will take a few minutes. So I'm using keyboard and mouse, and uh, you can play with a controller as far as I know, but the keyboard and mouse seems to work extremely well, and you can you can remap any of the keys and, and, and mouse buttons, in fact. Ow! Ooh, that little sludgy guy got me. So that's, um, that's very nice. Here's my left and right mouse button down here. We haven't unlocked my special ability yet, John's special ability, which we do get in this tutorial. But again, I kind of wanted to show you guys some of the skills that all the other characters offer. Um, there's a lot of replayability. There's actually, uh, I think that the levels are procedurally generated and there's a lot of variety in the, the way each character plays out and fights and so forth. Well, here we go. All right, we a gotta get through that stuff right there. Impeding further progress. A battle was certain. Yeah, thank. All right, here's our special ability. This is my shield, which uses stamina. Every time it gets whacked, so you can't spam it continuously. You gotta kind of let your stamina bar come back a little bit. There we go. All right, let's get up. Oh, there's more. Holy smokes, they're coming out of the woodwork, literally. All right, good practice. That's what that was. Now we're gonna use um, the shard of life that Ma, Margaret Ma, gave to um, John here. Banished by light itself, the corruption abated, leaving the shard cold in hand, dark in need of life. It's one use only, that shard, and I'm thinking maybe we can recharge it later. All right, we got him. Skill point. All right, we got a skill point. We're going to spend the skill point right here. Yep, 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 yep. Skill tree. And this allows us to unlock John's special ability. Goblins, a familiar threat, oh. albeit farther out than usual. Yes, we can use our special ability like that. Oh. <laughs> Aha, here we are. Before him was sacred ground, left untouched in days gone by. Indeed, the Shrine of Rhea. Remaining calm and collected, the shock of his heart skipping beats was concealed in expert fashion. Before him stood Linda, his eldest daughter, with bow and quiver at the ready, determined to do her part. And that's Linda, and this is how we unlock Linda, our second character that is playable. She's an archer, and she is John's daughter. And we have a new divine relic here. Electrocalypse. Create a temporary aura that damages nearby enemies. So that's actually on a timer. You have to press F to use it, while, again, that other thing we picked up 
is just a passive bonus. So I'm thinking now. Oh, and there she goes. All right. She, uh, we do not have control of Linda. She's obviously just doing her own thing. But we get to play her once we get to the uh, regular game. Let's quit and let's go back to my my game and we'll play some of the other characters. So here's my game right here. And this is the Bergson's home. And again, I have unlocked several of the Bergson family members, and each one of them is a unique is a unique character class. Uh, there's Kevin. He uses two blades. We have Mark. The, he's the eldest brother. He's like a karate guy. Um, we have Linda, which you've just seen moments ago with a bow, and we have Lucy, who's some kind of a mage. We haven't unlocked her yet. <laughs> Hopefully we get her soon. She's still trying to learn how to use her magic and control it without blowing herself up. And then we have Ben over here. He's the uh, the brother of John, and I think he uses a two-handed hammer when we finally unlock him. And I think that's all of them. Now, let's go to Ben's workshop. Do we have any money? 867. Uh, yeah, so we can unlock uh, these upgrades here, which impact all of the family members so this is obviously money well spent how about if we go with uh dodge chance is always nice yeah let's increase the dodge chance all right all right yeah let's um let's head down down the stairs into this area where we get to choose where we want to go i've only unlocked so far the cal dipo caves and this is made up of multiple sections and you can go back anytime and play any any one of these with any character for example why don't we go to well we'll go down to the silk caverns and here's where you get to choose your characters again this is a multiplayer game so it shows p1 we would be player one and if someone joined us they'd be player two i don't know how many players you can get but it is multiplayer co-op and you can see here that i've got two characters that i haven't unlocked yet and each one of these has their own specific skill set and obviously levels so how about if we bring uh mark oh, i really wanted to show you mark but he's still suffering from corruption fatigue because i think i played him very recently uh well let's go with linda she's a shooter and uh we'll level her up a little bit i'll just show you her some of some of her skills in the silk caverns and this will give hopefully give mark some time to recuperate so i really like mark a lot so now these caverns are procedurally generated each time so it's a little different every time oh yeah there's spiders here right now i've already defeated this boss so we're not gonna we're not gonna get very far here and she's probably way overpowered but she is still gaining experience Right down here, you can see that, and also gaining some cash. So you can come down here in the dungeon, just train, or, or go on a, a cash run. The relics and things that you find down here are not permanent. They don't come back with you. You only get them on that particular run. Oh, there's a treasure right here. Watch. Now, she's got a skill that's pretty awesome. She can shoot, shoot, shoot that up from up above, which does pretty good damage. And her timer is really, really short, which is nice. A lot shorter than her dad's timer. Oh, a little spider there. Can we open this? Yes. Got some cash. And oh, there's something there. Let's go back and check it out. Grab up the cash. And it looks like we have a rune. And that rune is attached directly to her, her bow. Her primary attack. And you can see that bar right there. It does deplete over time. Um, and you can only use one of it. It looks like it goes right through. I didn't actually read the description, but correct me if I'm wrong. But it seems like this arrow is penetrating uh, right through the target and going past it. So let's see if we can get a couple of these bums lined up. And shoot right through. That's pretty awesome. All right. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, that little spiders. Yeah. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh yeah, look at that. Right through. Right through all of them. Oh, there's a trap right here, so you got to be careful. Whew, love it. Here we go. Look at that. <laughs> I've never seen this particular relic before, but I like it a lot. Ah, we have an obelisk here. So at some point in the game, you will unlock these obelisks, and they give you temporary bonuses. That one was just, uh, I think it was just health. 
In many cases, that'll just give you a temporary buff. There's one of those gemstones. Very nice. What do we got here? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got. Something nice just fell out of there. Grab a little more cash, and let's see. It's another, it's a rune. Oh. Okay, that actually attached to our, uh, the K skill, the unique skill. All right, let's go fetch Mark and see what he can do. But before we do that, let's have a look at Linda's skill tree here. So she just gained a level. We have one skill point to spend, and some of these are going to be too expensive. Um, but what do we have here? Guardian's Rage. Linda focuses to temporarily push her abilities to their max. Sounds nice. And then this one is Inner Rhythm. While standing still, Linda's damage increases with each arrow loose. Holy cow, plus 6%. And these skills right here are family skills, so this one actually affects the entire family. So it doesn't matter who you play, which is pretty awesome. All right, let's just get this one. So now we have 6% extra damage if we stand still. Next level will be 9%. All right, well, let's stand still. And do some shooting. Nice critical there. Oh, get out of there. Don't shoot that thing, Linda. Nice. All right, so I think uh, I think it's time to go get Mark. Let's go check out the Kung Fu expert. This is a teleportal, by the way. Oh, hold on. Let's go over here. The monsters can't pass through those golden doors, so we're safe in here for a moment. Mighty Touch, Divine Grace. Your primary attack has a chance to stun. Ooh, okay, that's another buff here. So that is enabled throughout the this particular run in the dungeon. No matter what level we're on. Even if we go down a level, we're still going to have that. But it doesn't come back with you. It's not a permanent thing. Oh, we got a boss here. Let's see if we can stun him. Yes, it works! Ha 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 ha! I like it! Very nice indeed! Oh, 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 oh. Hold up, hold up. We got him, we got him. We just don't want to let him get too close. Linda does not have the strength of her dad as far as uh, hit points go. Uh, that's a rune. Yeah, I'm not gonna take that one. All right, let's go get Mark. Let's go try out Mark. So return home. Like I said, you can do this at any time. So you get a little stat window. It shows you how long you were down here. The enemies killed. The gold that you had found. Gathered gemstones. These can be spent in the dungeon when you run into the merchant. And the points healed. Cool. An answer cannot be expected to a question unasked. Nonetheless, the anticipation was exacting its price on Ben's soul. He wondered whether he should journey to Terra Lava to Sheila, a hard decision that had now become even harder after all the years he had spent inebriated. Yes, please. I want to unlock Ben because he uses a two-handed hammer. I really want to play him as a character. All right. So, unfortunately, we did not unlock him this time. And Lucy, because she's a wizard of some kind. Uh, well, let's go check Ben's workshop and see how much money we have. 536. Not very much. Can we upgrade anything? Not quite. How about over here in the Book of Rhea? I haven't done anything over here yet. Nope. Just a little shy. All right, let's go check on Mark and see if he's ready. I want to show you guys his skills. He's pretty awesome. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the Silk Caverns, and we're going to bring Kevin this time, because he's only level two. We might as well bump him up a tad, and that way uh, Mark will have a little more time to rest. And we'll take a look at Kevin's skill set. So Kevin is a, uh, a dual-wielding character. He's... Super fast once he gets going. He strikes really quickly. He does good damage. And the more he hits, the faster he becomes. <laughs> it's like a whirlwind of strikes. He's crazy. He's like a little Yoda once he gets moving. And he's got like some kind of special attack like that. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't really have very much defense. But um, as long as he's whacking people, he doesn't have to worry about it too much. I mean, look at this. It's insane. It's insane. Nobody can even get close. So you got to keep that blue bar going. That's his attack um, speed, I think. As long as he's hitting things, keep that up. Oh, we got a, a bonus. Um, wait, what was that? 12 kills? 12 enemies slain. Is that anything? No. Oh, oh, we got the uh, corruption beasties. They're pretty tough, but I think Kevin can handle them. Don't let them behind you, Kevin. 
Yeah, if he's not using his attack, I think that bar depletes a little bit. So we want to just keep fighting. Keep swinging, kid. Swing for the fences. Keep those enemies in front of you. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this kid. He's a freak. <laughs> 13 enemies slain. Keep it going. Yeah, nothing can even get close to him. I mean, once in a while he gets hit. And he can't really take a lot of hits. Unlike his pops. Yeah, those bats sometimes will kamikaze him. 14 enemies slain. Keep it going. Yeah, 23 enemies slain. Purge! We just gained a purge achievement of some kind. I don't know if those are recorded anywhere. Maybe they are. Maybe they aren't. I don't know. Uh, we got a teleporter here. You can always teleport to that anywhere from the in, in the dungeon just by holding down the T button like that. What do we got here? Summon a dragon. Oh, yes, this relic is awesome. I love this guy. I love this guy. Let's go Let's go use our dragon. Yeah, let's use him right here. Sounds good. There we go. Play with that, guys. And we got an obelisk here, too. So, action can get heated up pretty quickly in big groups. And when you have relics and charms, and you have uh, a couple of buffs going. So, yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of fun. A lot of action. Right here we go. Oh, we got a boss. We got a boss character. I think we got him. Let's drop a dragon right about now. We'll keep most of these guys busy while we chop up the boss. Beautiful. Okay, now what is this then right here? Something down here. Drop a divine item. This is a charm. All right, so we can drop a an item and it does something for us, which I'm not really sure what. <laughs> I haven't figured these things out yet. There we go. We leveled up. And we got a skill point. Slow it down, kid. Slow it down. Okay, let's have a look at Kevin's skill tree here. He's got three skill points to spend. He hasn't reached level four yet, unfortunately. Because when he does, we get to unlock Sharp Kid. And that's a whole family... Uh, it's a family trait. So everyone benefits that from that. The entire family, right? All right, well, let's do this one. It uh, It's his main attack. Oh, we unlocked this now. Okay, great. So we did get Sharp Kid. Very, very nice. I didn't realize that was going to happen. What do we have here? Shadow Cloak. Send Kevin into the shadows, vanishing from sight and allowing him to move around unhindered. Ooh, that's really cool. And then Guardian's Rage. Unleash Kevin's Rage to send him into the ultimate frenzy. <laughs> I'm really curious to see what that does. Uh, we only have one point to, spell, to spend. All right. I, I want to turn him into an assassin, though. This sounds really cool. So if I hold down my right mouse button, he's invisible. And we can get one-shot kills. Is that what that said? Oh, I don't know. I like it. All right, doesn't seem to last forever, and it's on a timer. So let's try it out on an unsuspecting foe. Let's find a volunteer. Here we go. We got it. We got a volunteer. But let me um, run around until we get that skill back. All right. We're being chased by a skeleton. Let's see if we can uh, disappear in the shadow. Wham! Okay, well, it didn't kill him in one shot. I think there's a chance it could kill him in one shot. But it's not a guarantee. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. If we get one more skill point, we can unlock this thing, too, which is the Guardian's Rage. And that's uh, mapped to the R key. And that will send him into the ultimate Yoda Frenzy. I really want to see that. But... It's going to be some time before he gets to the next level, unfortunately. All right. Let's, uh, oh, gosh. Woo. Okay, run, Kevin. Run. All right, I'm going to go into the shadows here. Just disappear. And then wham. Oh, that was a good one. 58 damage with that hit. Did you see that? Okay, so I don't know what the chance was of that to be like a, uh, a backstab critical. Does it say? Chance to instantly kill weaker enemies on the following attack. On the following attack. Okay. Anyway. Very good. That's Kevin. Pretty fun. But it's time for Kevin to come home. And we want to check out Mark. And there's Kevin's deeds down here. Not too shabby. All right. Let's let's uh, let's go to Ben's workshop before we head down into the dungeon with Mark. And we'll see what we can afford. We have 766 gold. We could invest in warfare. That increases the Bergson's base attack damage. Again, that applies to all of the family members. So, that seems like a good one. Sure. There we go. And now we can head out. We don't have any 
money left for anything over there. Very good. Alright, let's go get, um, let's go check out Mark. Alright, so this is Mark, and you can see the little purple fatigue effect there. So he does not have full health, but check him out! He's so fun! He's a karate master! Ha! Oh, oh! That initial jump was really good, but unfortunately it didn't fool that goblin with the crossbow. <laughs> but watch watch what he can do. He's got an awesome whip. He just pulls everybody in, and then he punches them in the face, or the beak, or whatever they happen to have on their face. So, pretty cool stuff, right? Oh, we got a body here. Get out of there! Oh, dang it. Yeah, the problem with this guy is um, when you target someone, uh, and he attacks, he literally leaps forward to them. Come on, get out of there! I mean, it's nice when they're far away from you, for, for, uh, for certain, but not so good when there's traps around. Alright, grab that gemstone. Oh, here we go. Bunches of bats. Yeah, he's just, he's just a flurry of fists and feet. It's awesome. Right, I'm gonna bring these guys in over here. Come on over! <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm punching the rocks. Not cool. Alright, grab that money, and let's go open this thing here. What do we got? Cashish. It's always good. Yeah, so Mark is a whole lot of fun. We haven't unlocked his uh, one of his mega skills. Can we do that? Oh we, oh, we do have a skill point here. Ooh, Assault Blitz. Increase the range of Mark's primary attacks, allowing him to dash further toward his enemies. That's what I was just talking about. <laughs> that could be good and bad. And then Guardian's Rage. Concentrate Mark's Rage to empower him and execute a series of powerful punches. All right, let's do that. We're gonna un unlock his rage. All of the family members get this rage, and it builds up over here in this little bar as you uh, as you kill enemies. So you, you don't get it right away. But that's how you you build it up. And it t it takes a while to build up, so you can't use it that often. You can see right there that tiny little red smudge. This guy's special ability, the uh, the whip. It recycles super fast, pretty often. Awesome. Yeah, so he's right up there as far as speed goes, killing things fast, just like his little brother. So the whip actually stuns too, which is nice. Well, that was nice. Ooh, grab that, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Yeah, Mark is a whole lot of fun. It feels great. Punching the snot out of these stinkers. Oh, we got a, we got a, we got a boss here. We got a boss. Let's back up a little bit and get prepared for this. Haven't found any relics or anything yet, so we don't have any special abilities or buffs. So we just have to do this with raw skill. No problemo. Not for Mark. I love how he moves around in the dungeon. <laughs> Look at the whole group. Bring them all in and then punch them all at once. Pretty cool stuff. Play with that, guys. Excuse me. Wham! Oh, I did not want to do that. Just don't want to get too close to that plant. Because it explodes. And what is this thing here? Grab it! Spirit lightning. Primary attacks have a chance to inflict lightning? Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see. Get over here. Oh! It's uh, Lucy Margaret and was Lucy. Barely containing her excitement as Margaret continued to train her patiently. When will be the time when she kept asking? To the excitable and talented child, few chores were as boring as practice, but the fire child still needed more. I love that story elements are um, disseminated, I guess you could say, or presented. Just by going down in the dungeon, doing your thing. And this is Lucy, by the way, who is the uh, daughter of John. It's Mark's little sister. And she has some kind of magical ability. And we're trying to teach her how to use it. Margaret is, anyway. And we haven't unlocked her, but pretty soon, I think, we're going to unlock Lucy. Tonic of Rejuvenation. It's Divine Grace. Return to maximum health at the start of a new floor. Ooh. It's a passive bonus. Very nice. So if we head down to the next level... Which we'll do right now. We should get full strength, right? In the deepest tunnels of the oh. Caldipo Caves, the monstrosities therein found a deviant harmony impeding the Guardian's progress. Oh. 
Okay, we got a boss here. Stun him with the whip and get out of there. Just keep backing up. These guys, they hit pretty hard. Huh. That whip does pretty good damage. And it's got the stun ability, which is nice. Oh, there's that lightning. It worked. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Here's another rune, Kevin's Punch Watch. Oh, look at this. If we use this, Kevin, his little brother, will emerge to execute Shadow Dance upon a critical primary attack. Are you kidding me? That's the coolest thing. So Kevin's going to come and join the fray. Possibly. Summoners I really in a circle. Him. Surely nothing would come from it. Wow, did you see that? That is sick, this guy. This guy's sick. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Had they Kevin? only been quicker. Oh, these ogre things, they're really tough. They hit hard, hard, hard. Don't want to get too close. And we got that green goopy stuff. It does damage. I don't like it. Oh, boy. All right, let's back up a little bit. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Come on, Kevin. Have you guys seen Kevin yet? I haven't seen him yet. <laughs> All right, I don't like the space over here. We'll kill that stinking... Ah! Stuck. Slowed down, too. Which is not cool. All right, that does stun him nicely. Oh, boy. Can we wreck this fool before he does bad things? Yes. All right, kill that stinking spider. There we go. All right now, punch the snot out of him, and then back out. Holy cow, these guys are rough. I don't want to step in that goo, man. Ah, yucky, yucky. Oh, back up. Nope, get out of there. Ah. Yeah, I mean, this guy does really good damage, but... He, um... Ow! Oh. Did I get whacked? Oh, I think I melted. Darn, so close. Almost had that guy. Not a bad run for Mark. Not too shabby. As Mary was always there for him, he was there for her. To catch her when she fell. Or to simply enjoy together a book of past memories. I love the little story tidbits that really get you invested in the family. Uh, and now it looks like we're sitting at the table. Yeah, every once in a while when you come back to the to the homestead There's one of these little buttons here. If you press it Everybody was worried story. about Anaya Dyer's stone sentinel that they would probably have to face on their quest Can fire even harm stone? Lucy asked intently Kevin was having similar thoughts about the alloy Uncle Ben had used to forge his daggers Cool. All right. Um, unfortunately, we did not unlock any of the other characters. So I guess we're just going to have to call it quits for now. Once again, this is Children of Morta. Link is down below to the uh, Steam Store page. Check it out for yourself if you liked what you saw here. And if you guys want to see more, then leave a like on the video. Let me know down in the comments. And perhaps I will continue and try to unlock... Um, uh, Lucy and and Uncle Ben. I really, really want to check them out at some point. But just out of curiosity, let me see. Now, no, definitely not unlocked yet. Darn. All right. Well, that's it for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Bye bye.